what has happened to this 2022 driver? Six months ago, brand new, worth over 400 pounds. Now, second hand, six months later, hardly anything. Find out why, shall we? I was asked to give a price and a quote on this 2022 driver, premium driver, 400 pounds, brand new kind of driver, and I was shocked to see what they were going for second hand. So then it begged the question, what happened to it? And if I was to ask myself truthfully, is this driver gonna drop heavily in terms of price compared to its competitors? I would have obviously said yes, but I didn't think this much and how significantly for a company that can succeed and pretty much dominate in one area of the golf industry, but then struggle so much on the other. And with this particular brand, the previous models, I kind of understood why the driver sales were struggling. Mainly the aesthetic electric blue to fit in with the color scheme of the brand, I think put off a lot of people as electric blue just isn't everyone's cup of tea but they fix that it's now black it's chrome it's gleaming and to be honest this model and last year's model are absolutely stunning when you're standing over them the second reason was the sound they sounded so dead and dull back in the day whereas i feel like they've kind of got that balance between titanium and carbon where you do get a bit of a ting but it doesn't sound like a frying pan when you hit it therefore when you see this driver and you know exactly the model that i'm talking about i want to ask why is no one buying it and more importantly in terms of second hand market why is it going for so cheap i've been using it for over a week now and it's definitely not the performance so it's got to be something else so here she is stg 220 mizuno driver and from the top i must say it looks incredible especially the way it also sits it's got adjustability it's got all the kind of tech that you would expect from a 2022 driver I'm going to tell you how much I paid for this. I'm also going to show you what they're going for eBay because I'm probably going to lose money on it in the end. But the whole point was I wanted to give a somewhat of a fair price for it, but also to show some of you guys that if you find one of these on an auction late at night, rubbish photos, you name it, you potentially could grab yourself an absolute bargain and because it's lost so much value up until this point i think you'll be able to sell it for exactly the same kind of money in a couple of years time which i'll show you with the previous models as well now sam's the gentleman that sold me the driver and as you can see it's got a bit of wear and tear but i honestly couldn't give him anything less than 180 pounds to be honest i wanted to give him more because these were 399 pounds brand new i'm not too sure if sam got this brand new or second hand but as you can see with the amount of brand new clubs on listings as i'll show you here flooding the market and not necessarily selling it only means one thing for pre-owned equipment in this particular model that is going to go for a lot less money and i do think it's a combination of things but one thing definitely strikes out to me and this is when it comes to the ebay side lots of club fitters would want to fit for mizuno irons that is what mizuno is known for especially in the uk when it comes to mizuno's overall image and with that if you were to fit for the irons you're gonna at least have to fit for some kind of the woods and fairways as well and when most club fitters have that club fitting obviously their main goal is to fit them to the best of their ability but then also most club fitters will also be quite biased some club fitters even though they'll have four or five different brands they'll know one that just seems to be working for me from what i've heard this year the rogue st max has been doing incredibly well so the go-to even if someone goes in going tailor-made ping callaway whatever it might be more times than not that person will go oh the tailor-made or they go oh the callaway or they'll go the ping mizuno i don't think will have as many of those people about and as i'll show you from the listing here especially on ebay if i type brand new ping g425s to be sold at a discount there is virtually none ping are also extremely strict in terms of what you can sell online and not boys clubhouse golf discount golf all the other ones on the internet will have to be spending a huge budget on ping to be able to sell it online as a retailer if you're a normal pro shop you cannot sell it and if they find out that you are selling brand new ping clubs on ebay facebook gumtree you name it potentially going to close down your account and you won't be able to sell ping clubs anymore whereas if you look at the brand new stg t20s or any stg driver for that matter on the right hand side here there's a lot of them and this is just the stg that's not the stz the stx and you could get these comfortably for 300 350 pounds brand new i've even seen some go as low as 260 240 so what does that mean 
for the pre-owned stuff. And I went after this one just like I do. This is almost like my litmus test in terms of golf holes down here at Samford. Small path four, slightly down breeze like it has been on other times. Traditionally the wind's this direction. And I've had 100 pound drivers, I've had 50 pound drivers, I've had 400 pound drivers, and they all relatively land the similar distance. And the point that I'm trying to make is that club fittings are important, don't get me wrong, but it depends what level you are and what your game's going to do. So if you had the choice, or I had the choice for you, spend potentially under 180 pounds on a 2022 driver that looks epic you want to treat yourself but it's lost majority of its depreciation and you just go and get a standard 10 and a half reg do you know what i mean whatever it is somewhere in your wheelhouse and you've only spent 150 pounds on it yes you could go and get fitted for a stealth or a rogue st or a ping g45 for 450 pounds but then your swing changes because you play off 22 or you've only been playing the game for six months or so or a year and potentially and you haven't even got a handicap yet Therefore, you're potentially getting all the forgiveness technology that everyone talks about, even though somewhat over the last five years, I think no difference has been made, but it feeds your appetite because you've now got the golfing bug, but you're losing zero amount of money with a nice looking driver. And even though you didn't get club fitted for it, your swing's gonna change four times in the course of this whole year. Therefore, the one that you spent 450 pounds on and got a really nice, beautiful shaft and changed the weight setting, all that kind of stuff. Well, that one will just work out just as good as this one because you're the variable not the golf club and as you can see how volatile the prices are on these stg drivers 175 185 pounds including postage and this one looks mint hardly used touched not been scratched buckled and it just amazes me something with a reasonable loft and shaft in it for example can go for that little amount of money only being released over the last six months and that is why i love second hand golf clubs the value in there versus the performance potential gain vast majority of golfers are going to get from the newer stuff is just minuscule 140 pounds this one went for 140 pounds 12 pounds postage 10 bids so this was active it's not like there's one person that just got in there people are going you know what i don't want to spend more than 140 pounds on this driver that's literally just come out over the last six months and if you're looking for something a bit of a hunt because i'm not saying you're going to go on ebay now and find one of these going on auction and all of you jump on it but over the next two three months even if it's the older one the st200 or even the stz or x which i reviewed last year which again going for silly low prices and mizuno fixed the faults in the past i.e they're black so they fit with absolutely everyone's bag the sound again is actually really good in terms of the face and they are forgiving high launching decent drivers adjustable weighting which again not vast majority of, of us are ever going to be using point is is that if you get lucky enough and you find an auction of these that's finishing on Tuesday evening at 10 o'clock and there's not going to be much action on it, you could get yourself a new toy, play with it a year, two years, whatever it might be, and you're going to be able to sell it for pretty much the exact same amount of money because the ST200 and the STZ, the ones that came out the last two years, are going for pretty much the same amount of money. Mizuno just depreciates in the first six months more than any other brand I've ever known. So guys, if you like this video, you might like my 2021 What Happened Driver video which was the trick shot well let's say it's as interesting as this one see you guys later